Fortnite and Polo Ralph Lauren collabed, and we have a lot of stuff coming out very soon. As always, Epic Games, thank you for the early access. We have two outfits, two backblings, both with edit styles, two harvesting tools, one glider, one emote, and one loading screen. First, we're going to cover the Polo Prodigy, the P Wing Pack backbling, the 1992 Mallet, the Stadium Drifter. Pay attention to the headlights, it's not reactive, so they should always be on regardless. The emote here, Victory Colors. And then the loading screen back into the arena. Let's get sweaty. For anyone curious, George, I'm using the scavenger wrap for the gameplay for the first edit styles. To my knowledge, these release tomorrow, October 5th in the item shop. October 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern. We also have the time change for anyone that does daylight savings time. I believe on Sunday the 6th. So keep that in mind. One thing I will say about both of these outfits there's so much detail so much detail on the outfits we've got polo on the bottom of the of the boots there you can see in the air in and down sides there's so much going on obviously a renegade raider head and face wrap looks great now the actual glider does have the headlights which i believe are always going to be on the stadium drifter i can't really tell right now if they're on or not, you can see a lot more clearly in your locker, but the sound here. Really good sound. I'm going to change the time of day here and see if headlights turn on now. So I actually can't even tell if the headlights are on and I think I just fell off the map. <laughs> okay, I saved myself. So I don't see the headlights in game. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I might try that in a battle lab. Equip and equip. Look at the equip there. Kind of flips out on the end. It's a really high pitched flick, which would be pretty popular in the competitive scene. Impact looks like his default there. At least on non weak spots, but it's like a blurred out version of the tool. It's not terrible. Since the color schemes are the same, we're just going to do this one as well. The Stadium Hero 92. The racer back, back bling, and the stadium collector harvesting tool. Even though they're not really my style, incredible detail head to toe. I'll give them that. Incredible detail. Very well done on that. Now it begs the question, if we used Renegade Raider's head for the female outfit, could we have gotten Aerial Assault Trooper for the male outfit in this collab? It just begs the question, could we have gotten that? We have never seen... An aerial assault trooper reskin of any kind. Hello? So it begs the question. Could we ever see that in the future? I am solo right now. Low.com. Low, 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 low. We did it. Okay. Aiming down sides here. Could we see an aerial assault trooper ever as a reskin? Maybe for Christmas? Maybe? ADS is fine. Harvesting tool. I think it might be the same, but let's see here. Okay. Same type of deploy animation there. Ooh, kind of flips out. I would say not as high pitched as the other one. And a pretty average impact as well. And with the glider, which I will test in Battle Lab because this map can be a little finicky with anything reactive. Even though they doesn't claim the, the glider's reactive, it definitely shows the headlight beams being like on high in your locker preview. So I'm just wondering if like... Maybe it's just this map. I'm not really sure to see it in Battle Lab, though. I might be overthinking it, but I still want to test it in Battle Lab here. They're definitely on now. Definitely on now. I like the thruster, too. Like, the sound is great. It's just that creative map. It's a little weird with anything reactive. I don't know why. Headlights are definitely on. Now, are they going to shine any actual physical light on this crane as I pass by it? And are they going to be on during the day as well? We're going to test that. Does it shine any visible light here? No, it doesn't. I'll just make it like I was seeing if it was like, you know, like the flashlight item we have in the game. It doesn't do that. I just want to see. I just want to see. You would you, you'd be able to tell somewhat of like any type of like light beam if they were on because it's pretty obvious when you're not in that creative map. So I would say in a sense, 
in a sense it is reactive because we do have that tractor glider that is reactive because the front headlights turn on at night as well and it's classified as reactive so this could be classified as reactive i'm just saying now we know i just want you to know that no matter what gender is wearing the bag like male female etc the racer back is always going to be bigger p wing pack is smaller so if you're worried about that the P-Wing pack is the smaller compact back bling. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So as you can tell, both outfits I just covered are the same color scheme with their current edit style. So I don't have to do everything twice here. I think you have a good idea of what you can wear with both. Wheelie is a great theme. Scarlet Satchel is clean. Wrong turn. And then Wu-Tang represent. Very easy there. And with the back bling, nothing crazy. Burnout. It's a fun racer combo. Ether looks really good. It looks damn near perfect. Obviously what it came with. We have it on Redline as well. Looks clean. Let me talk to your manager with the alternate style. I like that. We can also do it with the original. But I like it with the white because it has white on there. Obviously part of the same set. Remini versus Toxin. And then we had to do with the tie-dye skin. Red, white, and black. Super simple. Super easy. Like I mentioned, there's only edit styles for the outfits and back blinks in this set. So this is the iconic edit style for the Polo Prodigy. Red, white, blue, black, and yellow. And because of that, I'm using the yellow glow. You guys know I'll find any excuse to use yellow glow, but the new emote in-game victory colors. It might just keep going forever. I lied. It doesn't. Now we know. So I like this color scheme for sure. It's going to be a lot more interesting for combos. I'm probably going to focus on yellows. Yellows and blues because we have a lot of red and white already. I, I don't think the wrap looks the best. I'm not going to lie. But you can see why I used the yellow there. I think it looks really clean nonetheless. I will admit with this edit style, a little bit more difficult retribution with the yellowish orange edit style. Obviously what it came with. This is the other color scheme for the other back bling. No yellow on this one, though. Keep that in mind. Wheelie is still great. This goes so well. It shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> uh, Moose makes absolutely no sense, but it has the colors I wanted. Red, black, yellow. Uh, Morning Bow. Eh, a little bit more yellow. Same thing with Quack. Pack. Anyways, with the back bling here. Um, again, pretty difficult. Mogul Master France and or Korea will look really clean. And you're like, well, where's that yellow coming into play? The goggles. It's a stretch, but it looks really clean nonetheless. Obviously what it came with. Now he, spoiler alert, this is his other edit style, but no yellow on his color scheme. Keep that in mind. Um, uh, yeah, you use your imagination here. All right, you gotta use your imagination. Payback as well. Yeah, yeah, it's got the colors. We can say the gold goes with the yellow. Wave, wake, wake rider, wave rider. You gotta use your imagination. I, I kind of like the way it looks though. Like the presentation is nice. Sizzle, it shouldn't look decent, but it does. Really weird, right? And then red, yellow, and blue for the tie-dye skins. All right, moving on. This is the red, white, and blue edit style for the Stadium Hero. Same thing with the back bling. Again, nothing else has edit styles. And I'm using, I haven't used it in a while, the Candy Cane Wrap. Go ahead and show you the emote with him as well. The victory colors. The confetti. You can hear the vehicles. That's pretty cool. I like that ADS here with this style. Again, candy cane wrap. It's getting real close to Christmas time, guys. I'm telling you. We're really close to Christmas time. But yeah, like I said, incredible detail here. Can't go wrong. But what if I told you that the male outfit, the Stadium Hero, also had another option for an edit style? Let's check it out. So not only do both outfits have two different Ed style colors, Stadium Hero also has a jacket edit style, which you can pair with each edit style color as well. See how it looks when we're moving around. Looks pretty good for movement. Nothing super glitchy that I've noticed yet. I don't think back wings are going to glitch, seeing as most of the physics are below the waist anyways for the jacket. Physics are pretty good though here. Physics are not bad with the jacket edit style. And with the red, white, and blue style, it's more of like a... That white looks really metallic to me. Doesn't look like a cloth, looks pretty metallic. 
I guess a little bit of shine to it, but again, they still look really clean. I mean, again, the detail is so good. Down down to like the text on the boots here. Look at that. Like all the details. And we're reaching the end here, guys. Um, I do want to point out, if you're still listening, I am going to be at the Ravens Saints NFL game on Monday night. And I'm leaving tomorrow. So Irto is going to cover for me if anything comes out. So a big thank you to him. And please use his code. He's going to say use mine. Don't listen to him. Code Irto. E-A-R-T-O-E. -E. Just the way it sounds. All together. One word. No crazy characters. Irto. Captain America. Kind of a stretch. Looks great on Alpine Ace USA. Mogul Master as well. It's the same blue. It's everything is perfect there. Fireworks team leader. It's because it's red, white, and blue as well. Obviously, she has that yellow. You know what's also going to look pretty decent on her, which I do want to check before I end the video, is one of the Rocket League cards, which is like an orangish yellow. The blue's a little off here, but I still like the theme for sure. Trilogy, again, the blue's a little dark, but I still like it. And then Star Spangled Ranger looks really good. So, one thing I wanted to show you guys before I leave, because I haven't seen what it looks like yet. Filter Rocket come here change the style to this color it's not bad it's a fun theme as well too i should have shown that before i kind of forgot to but a fun theme on that color scheme as well and with that being said guys liking the video is always appreciated subscribing is free to support our creator piz zero thank you guys so much for watching have a safe weekend we'll see you on the live stream see ya